Thank you very much. Hello, welcome back to 16 Years in Alcohol Free. You find me in the Crown Pub in a place I'm not too sure how it's pronounced. Written and Huffford, I think it is. But what a day it's been. What a day it's been. Absolutely, you know, it's the longest drive I've done in quite some time. Usually, you know, I drive 35 minutes, quarter now, maybe 50 minutes. Today was, um, you know, a full two hours of driving, and what driving it's been. Um, I actually, I didn't realise that I, I came across the um, Buttercup Pass, and there's a road, you'll see through uh, my uh, videos, you know, it's high, it's twisty, and it's just really out there. And uh, you even come across a, a place called the Woods, which is absolutely madness because you're coming through it. Because I didn't want to go across the A66, but I wanted to, you know, come right inland and just do it that. And I didn't want to go on any major A roads or motorways or anything. Um, but yeah, you come across the Buttercup uh, Butter Pass, you've got to do it. You've absolutely got to do it. It's high, it's out there. <laughs> Alright, guys. <laughs> Lots of people looking at me. <laughs> um, yeah, and you come into a horse, which you, you think you've gone somewhere wrong, and you come across this main road, and it goes directly through the town of Horse on this cobbled street. I wish I got video. I was more interested in, um, you know, just you know, making sure that I didn't drive into anybody. You know, it, it was one of the places, and it's that road from um, yeah, Barnard Castle. You know, the place that that is, uh, all the way through to. Um, I will put it. I'll put it up in the description. Um, or the title or anything like that. Uh, but it is an amazing road. I've been on some roads out there. I've been across Ireland. I've been across Scotland. I've been across most of the far Cornwall. Well, I've done Cornwall before, but I, I've been across there. But that is out there. Absolutely out there. There is some trouser wrecking drops. There's some really tight turns that you get into. There's some absolutely unbelievable streaks that you go into. And then, yeah, I'm here, um, ready to do one of the um, free peaks tomorrow. You have to excuse me, I've got to. And, um, making sure I eat properly before going up this mountain. And look at this, look at this. Now, I'm not too sure the salad because I'm actually going to eat that. You know, I get told off that. It does come with chips, by the way. Um, but I'm just so fed up with chips. Every time you go out, everything comes with chips. I'm just fed up with chips. Um, but yeah, and then tomorrow, but look at that, it even stands by itself. Very rarely on this adventure have I actually had a dog that stands by itself. And all the climbers coming in now. What? But you can taste it. You can taste the pasta, you can taste the cheese, you can taste the mints in it. Which is well needed. Um, tomorrow, all I've got, because there isn't shops around here, obviously, all I've got here to wake up to is a sausage roll. And then, as usual, I take a couple of packs of crisps, a couple of chocolate bars to go up. And then I've got uh, my guy who's done it before, and he wants me to meet him at 7 o'clock. And he wants me to meet him at 7 o'clock in the morning, 7 a.m. in the morning. I'm not a morning person, I like my name. Just like I did this morning. You know, I had a day in after last night, for to about well, he was past me day before I actually got the car. But, yeah, 7 o'clock in the morning. So I'm actually being down and out. And I'm actually going to stay here tomorrow morning, you know, tomorrow evening as well. We'll see how we feel. We really will. Right, I'm going to tuck into the rest of this. Uh, enjoy my pint that's behind the camera that's holding uh, my phone up. But on that note, like I always say, take it easy. Keep it mentioring. Love you back.